Hi guys, um, Aaron here, just um, with my books. Enjoy my books, won't you? Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, for a couple of things here. Um, first off, the good news, the good stuff, um, thanks to much of your generous support, uh, my GoFundMe that I recently put up was a success. I was able to get the money that I needed and get out of the hole. I'm not completely out, but it was enough. I forgot to take into account GoFundMe's cut and the cut for their friggin' service to do direct deposit into my bank account. So, um, I forgot to take that into account. So, but I'm not completely out of the hole, but I am almost out and I can cover everything else myself. So thank you to everyone who donated, everyone who shared the link, all that. It was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it immensely. You've been a really, really big help and you have no idea how. Now, I've been looking into what to do as a thank you and I thought I might try live streaming something. But it turns out my computer does not like any live stream client at all. It's like, nope, uh-uh, nope. Nope, 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 can't run it, nope. So unfortunately, live streaming is out. Um, what I might do, though, is here, I think, in the next couple of days, um, I'll, uh, you know, um, I'll open things up and maybe do a Q&A video, at least give everyone a heads up to uh, do a Q&A. Um, just when I'll be accepting uh, questions and when. I don't know when I'll do it. It'll be in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, I'll be uh, doing that and uh, trying to do something for thank you because I really do appreciate everything you guys did to help me out and that's great. Um, on to the less good news. Um, it's nothing major. Don't don't worry. It's not like life threatening or anything like that. Um, first off, doing the last three Saturday '80s with the Dabney Coleman trilogy and trying to do the Riverdale vlogs at the same time, I've kind of been having issues with my editing software. It's been buggy. It's been stupid. It's been ridiculous, and it's taken way longer to make these videos then they really should. I mean, let me give you an example. Aside from one or two things, the opening and closing sequences, aside from the opening and closing sequences, pretty much, um, and the titles I needed to do for that, uh, pretty much the last Saturday 80s was all done in Windows Movie Maker, which I haven't done in years, because unfortunately I've been using Pinnacle, and Pinnacle, for some reason, has decided, oh, you have all these clips, let me drop the sound out of these clips, where I don't need to be dropping sound. Or let me lie to you completely and tell you where your cut, tell you that your cut is here when your cut is actually a few seconds before, thus making your entire video look like shit and that you don't know what you're doing. It's, it's been very, very frustrating trying to get some of this stuff done and made. And just at this point, I mean, even dealing with the friggin just the Riverdale vlogs, it took a ridiculous amount of time because I wanted to do one particular effect and I couldn't do it because nothing would cooperate. So, when I'm trying to do something that basic, which is just simply put a picture like over here or something when I'm talking, it's just really, it's been really, really just fucking obnoxious. I mean, I went out and I did everything I could. I ran virus scans. I deleted 162 gigs worth of stuff off my hard drive. Yeah, I don't, I backed everything up. I have an external hard drive I use for that. So I backed everything up and I took care of it. And that's what I did. So, you know, but it's still not helping. It's still being stupid and buggy and ridiculous. And I don't know why. <sighs> I mean, Miss Nightmare even offered, even graciously, Miss Nightmare, when she heard I was having problems and thinking about going back to doing Movie Maker, because I really don't do a lot of effects heavy things, so I can usually get away with using Movie Maker if I absolutely have to. I've actually used both editing softwares because for some reason, in your more advanced software, something really, really basic, like doing a credit scroll, is like almost impossible. 
I don't know why. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, Miss Nightmare was very, very kind to um, send me Vegas 14, and I tried Vegas 14 this weekend, and it turns out that there's a couple of bugs in this version of Vegas 14 which they haven't worked out yet. I can't change file formats. I, I can't, you know, it's like the only thing it'll do is like in this ridiculously high def data eating, like, every video I would render, no matter how short it was, was, like, at least one gig. And it's like, I, I don't need that much clarity in these videos. I mean, Saturdays especially. Saturdays I deliberately render in SD, because I want to get that effect. You know, that's kind of what I want for Saturdays. I'll do the other stuff in HD, but I really don't need it to be, like, I don't need, like, 4K, and I don't need, rarely do I even need 1080p for the stuff I'm doing. I Usually 720 is just sufficient. Um, which brings me to the other thing. Um, the plan still exists. Um, this year, the plan is to finish Escape from Monster High, finish Saturday 80s, finish Into the Idiot Box, and, of course, we will be finishing the Riverdale vlogs here in a couple of weeks. Whether or not I do Season 2 is going to depend entirely on how the season wraps up because sometimes it's just gotten to be a real chore because there's uh, there's a lot of you know it's like i by and large i like riverdale but there's a lot of episodes where it's just like oh god could we please drop the teen angst tropes it's like fuck i know it's a cw show but fuck so anyway the um i'm gonna Probably, I'm still going to try to wrap everything up. Next year, I had a plan to do an original web series, like all original, and do a full series. And a little bit of an ARG element with it as well, but it turns out that that's a really a lot more elaborate than I have the capability to do. I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the help. So it's not really something... Fuck. Well, be right back. Well, whatever. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, my original plan for 2018 has fallen through. I thought about it and thought about what I would need to do, and I just can't do it. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. It's not. Um, so, instead, I'm going to try something else that I've come up with. Um, Saturday 80s actually serves two purposes. The first was I wanted to see if I could actually get out a weekly series. Short answer, no I can't. <laughs> Not consistently at any rate. I can do it, do it in bursts, but then I burn out. As a matter of fact, um, this week there will be no new Saturday 80s. Um, doing the last three ones on the Dabney Coleman trilogy is just, just burned me right the hell out and all the problems I had trying to get everything done burned me out to the point where I don't even want to look at editing software right now. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to deal with it. I just don't. And I don't want to put myself under any more pressure trying to get another Saturday piece out, even if it's just, you know, a short little eight minute one. Um, so the other purpose of Saturday these was to experiment with a new format where I take a more documentary approach to it. Maybe a few jokes here and there, but not like the full comedic review thing that's been happening of late. Because um, I've been looking at what's going on in the world of online media right now, online video, especially with all the stuff that's happened on YouTube. And I'm not going to talk about the adpocalypse or whatever you want to call it, because that largely doesn't affect me. Like 80% of my videos are monetized, but they're going to people who filed copyright claims against me. So it, it, it really hasn't affected me because uh, making videos is not how I make my money. I have a day job. I have a day job, and that's where I've been paying most of anything. In fact, I really haven't made that much money on YouTube. I think I've been paid like $200 over the last four years total. Um, so, yeah, um... So, the t and it looks like that a lot of people who used to do this kind of thing have either 
phased out of it or quit or just aren't producing much other or have moved to other formats. Um, it looks like, like many people, like uh, others have observed, is that on YouTube now you have two choices. You can either live stream the shit out of everything or you can focus primarily or going by their most popular stuff. It's like you can either or you can be an idiotic jackass for laughs and try to get clicks that way. And I, I, I no, that kind of humor. If you've been watching my stuff, presumably you get my sense of humor at this point. I don't do a lot of, I tend to do a lot of drier, more higher comedy for want of a better term. I don't like toilet humor. I don't like shock humor. I just, it, it has a time and a place, but it's, it has a time and a place, and I enjoy some of it from time to time, but, yeah, after a while, it gets old, and, you know, I've looked at the people who have made it and do that kind of stuff, and I'm like, you're not funny. I don't know why everybody thinks you are, and I sure as hell don't know why you have as many subscribers as you do. So, you know, um, I'm not willing to make myself look that much like an idiot doing unfunny crap that doesn't feel right and doesn't feel natural for me to justify getting more subscribers and more view count and whatever. You know, for me it's always it's not it's not never really been about being famous. I I do this because I enjoy it, you know. I started off with, you know, a handful of subscribers and you know, by YouTube standards, yeah, okay, 647, I think, is my current subscriber count at the time I'm making this video. 647 people may not be enough, may not be a lot, but it is to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so, next year, assuming I get everything else done and off my plate that I plan on doing, Assuming I finish Into the Idiot Box, assuming I finish Saturday 80s, assuming I finish Escape from Monster High. Actually, that will be because that's going to be the next major scripted review that's coming is uh, episode 11. And as we've said before, the actual run, as Ms. Nightmare and I conceived of it, was for 12 episodes. And she's been working on episode 12 for a while now, largely because I need to get off my ass and write the first draft of the script So of each video. Um, but that's on the plan. That's what I'm largely going to be doing this week instead of Saturdays is um, getting scripts written. Um, so once I get all that done, there's going to be a change in format for the videos that are going to come from this channel. Um, and I hope you'll stick around because I hope at the very least I'm entertaining, even if I'm not necessarily funny. All right. Um, so, next year, uh, I'm going to start doing some different things. Um, I'm still going, I'm still planning on doing the still as yet untitled Superman retrospective. We, we are going to do that. That will definitely be coming, but um, I'm going to try to not put so much on my plate. Like, right now, I've got like six series going, and... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving the attention that all of them deserve, so I've got way too many ideas, and I need to calm the hell down and not run with them all simultaneously. So, um, the Untitled Superman retrospective will come sometime next year. I'm not sure when yet. It depends. Um, I will still continue to do Who Done It Hall. Uh, I still have, it for at least three more episodes, I have three more films that I've been wanting to cover on Who Done It Hall. And so the comedy reviews aren't going away entirely. It's just, it's going to be very, it's not going to be the main focus. So Who Done It Hall will still continue for right now anyway, unless something happens. Um, what I want to do is I'm actually thinking I'm going to start doing um, other documentaries on stuff I want to talk about that... I, that other people don't. I, I really do want to um, try to do something a little more substantial, a little more long form. I realize that you know everybody's like, yeah, too long, didn't watch. Well, I don't care. It's, this this is what I want to do. I'm thinking that I might start doing little 45 minute, half hour, hour long um, documentaries on various things. Um, I put a poll up on Twitter a while back asking if people would like to see me talking about 
um, Archie comics in general, as opposed to, you know, just talking about Riverdale in vlog form and all that. And I'm thinking I might actually do that. I might um, do that and do a nice little four, five minute to hour long video on the history of Archie comics and where it's going and try to educate some people who still think Archie's mired in like the 1950s and whatnot. And, you know, people who don't actually read a lot of Archie and kind of overlook it because it is still one of the oldest running comic companies. It's been around since the golden age with DC and Marvel. It's like, you know, if you want to go by comic companies with longevity, it's Marvel, it's DC, Marvel, Archie. Actually, well, Timely Comics was around in the golden age, which became, which eventually became Marvel, so never mind. So yeah, it's DC, Marvel, and Archie who were the big, you know, you talk about the big two, but Archie's never really been considered a competitor of them because their superhero stuff is its own imprint and been kind of off, and they've been on and off throughout the years, but it's Archie that's been paying the bills. So, yeah, um, I'm going to do something with that. There's a couple of other things I might want to cover. So what will probably happen is I will try to get like one of those out like every month. So there's not going to be as many videos. Um, like I said, if Riverdale Season 1 wraps up, wraps up satisfactorily enough for me, I may go on and vlog Season 2 when it starts. We'll see. Um... So, yeah, uh, I just wanted to give everybody a heads up on that, that things are going to change because I, I really do think that, once again, the cultural winds of online video have shifted yet again. And while people have been saying for years that online video reviews are dying, and they have ever since, you know, like Channel Awesome made it big and whatnot and everything and everybody started doing it, a lot of people who started off doing this aren't doing it anymore or at least have reduced production quite a bit, or are changing formats, or are doing something else. The people who largely still do this on a frequent basis are those who've managed to make a living doing it, and good for them. I'm not jealous, I'm not angry about it, it's just the way it is. For those of us who are smaller, well, it might be time to uh, adapt or die. And since I can't live stream, I might as well try something else. You know, um, so... I'm going to try to finish up everything that I've got on my plate this year. So, Escape from Monster High into the Idiot Box. Legacy of the Pink Panther. Legacy of the Pink Panther, for those of you who keep asking. That will come. That will be the next thing after we get the Haunted review done. And then I will be able to focus on getting those out. And since that, those are just me, I should be able to get episodes 10, 11, and 12 out fairly quickly. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to let everybody know. Um, keep an eye, if you're not uh, following me on Twitter, um, if you're not following me on Twitter, uh, just do, go ahead and do so if you want to get involved in the Q&A. It's at Shallow15 on Twitter. Um, as soon as I'm ready to start doing that and taking questions and whatnot, I will announce it there. And I might, if I have time, do another short little video to announce it here as well, if you don't feel like doing the Twitters. So, uh, yeah, um, like I said, no new Saturdays this week. There will be a new one next week. And uh, that pretty much covers it. Um, there will be a Riverdale vlog for this week's episode of Riverdale now that we're moving into the last two episodes for the season. So, yeah, um, until then, uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.